Hello. There's a saying that there are those that follow maps and those that create them. And we're going to be showing you now how maps can really help you to visualize your data. So maps can provide context to a distance or place, but they can be really useful for visualizing and connecting concepts. So I'm gonna walk you through a couple of really great examples which you can explore as well, but also present some ideas to you about how you can get the best out of your map creations. So this particular map has been used to connect real-time data so imagine if you had information which needed to be accessed and updated in real time, then this is a way to do it. Because no matter where this map is embedded, and it can be embedded anywhere across the world, the back end can be edited, updated, which means that your viewers always get the freshest information. And this example was developed to show people real time poor information during the COVID-19 crisis. This map, again, uses a stock image of a tube map and presents lots of information in one particular place about various locations on the map. In this case, it's information about where to go, places to live. So all of these particular hotspots, although are not relative to the tube map, give context to the location. And other information can be embedded and of course that information will open up into immersive reader and can then be translated into over 80 different languages. This map has been developed to show construction history, but also show the changes over time. So with ThingLink, you can update the back image at any point and the tags will remain the same, which means that you can show progression of say a construction site or seasons over a particular region um, and you can keep that link embedded. So here in this particular example, they've also used these custom icons and you can create your own icons in ThingLink or you could use a custom icon service like Flat Icon where you can browse galleries of icons. In this particular map, they've connected the actual state of Vermont museums to other thing links of museums using the tour tag. And again, they've used a custom icon, but it is locality um, specific so that you can dive in and see any of those museums across the state of Vermont. This map is the introduction to a virtual campus tour and they've used an image of the location to show um, the hotspots which you can click on and it will take you to the various places in that location as well. So rather than a graphic image, they've used a photo. And last but not least, a very funny example, which again is a thematic type of map. And these Halloween icons have been developed with sound built in <laughs> so that this makes a really fun and engaging map for your audience to, um, to try out and find the way around the, the playground map there. Um, so lots of ideas for your maps, um, but think about the legend, the key, the icons that you want to use, keeping it all in theme. And remember that you can group any types of data within your ThingLink tags using an overarching image as your first landing point. And these could be photos, aerial, or even the graphics of use in there. So we can't wait to see what you create, and we hope this has given you a few tips.